In this video, we'll be looking at setting up our number series for allowing us to use prepayments. We will have to go to our sales and receivables setup and our purchase and payable setup to do this. And we're looking in our number series first tab, and in particular, our posted prepayment invoice number series. For this, we can use the same as our posted invoice number series, or we can create a new one specifically for our prepayments. In this case, however, we'll use our voice number series, and then we have the same with our prepayment credit memo number series. In this case, we will use our posted sales credit memo number series as well. And then we've entered these. We need to look at our purchase and payables, and we're looking for our corresponding number series on the purchase side. And again, we'll use our posted purchase invoice rather. As I said, if we wanted to, we could go into our list and create a new number series for our prepayment documents. It is acceptable to use our posted purchase credit memo and our posted prepayment invoice and our equivalent in our sales side as well. 